So where do alkanes and cycloalkanes come from? How do we get them? Well, one way is, uh, one source of them is petroleum. Petroleum, um, these are fossil fuels like crude oil, and these contain all kinds of different organic chemicals. They came from living matter at some time. So we take this crude oil, and this is an example of fractional distillation. So they separate out the contaminants like sand and sulfur and stuff, and then they take the hydrocarbons that are left, and they do this fractional distillation. Distillation separates things based on their boiling points. So you bring the hot crude oil in, and you heat it more. And you're going to cause things to boil. This is this temperature is going to get, um, it's going to decrease as we go up. Some things are not going to distill out. Things like waxes. Waxes are not volatile. So the wax distillate is what you get left after everything else evaporates. So the temperature is a little warmer here. It's, it's very warm here. And so we can get um, C16 to C20 alkanes to come out. Those have a, a boiling point of 400 to 500 degrees Celsius. These sorts of things are used as lubricating oils. And then further up the column, it's cooling down, and these are, are able to come out. And so we've got the C15 to C18s around 300. That's used for heating oil. And there's kerosene. And gasoline is out here. And then actual gases, like methane and propane, um, are coming out here. So the boiling point of these alkanes is related to the number of carbons in them. And so we can use fractional distillation to separate them. Now, gasoline, is, this, is gasoline a single compound? You know, there's an octane rating on it. There is octane in gasoline. And, you know, your engine likes octane. But there's other stuff, too. Could we separate it out and just give you pure octane? Yeah, but the cost is not worth the benefit. There's no reason. This mixture that we get out at this temperature is, is what your engine is designed to work with. So this separates it into categories, but doesn't separate it into individual compounds.